Hi everyone and welcome, this is the Apostate Prophet. Why don't we talk about bird poop? Looks awesome, doesn't it? This is the quality content you came for. I know this is very low, but we're talking about poop. Because we have to talk about poop. What do you expect? It is for a good cause. I think it is very clear to everyone that the Kaaba is held in very high regard by Muslims. It is so important to the strictly monotheistic Muslims who hate the worshipping of objects and symbols that they worship and pray towards this weird cube. That the greatest Islamic practice of worship consists of circling the cube and touching and kissing the cube and the black stone at the corner of it. That it is called the house of Allah, and that you can find the cube in many Islamic households and buildings and weirdly dangling inside cars. Now, mainstream pop Muslims tend to have a lot of superstitious beliefs that rely on hearsay and strong ignorance. That combined with their reverence for the Kaaba brings about very absurd beliefs, such as that birds can't or won't fly over the Kaaba, and that planes can't fly over the Kaaba. It is so obvious that this is a completely ridiculous thing to believe in, but let's just keep going because it's so much fun. We've certainly never heard of a flying object, a plane, crashing into the nothingness when it's over the Kaaba. We also don't have reports of passenger planes mysteriously disappearing in a scientifically unexplainable Kaaba triangle or Kaaba square. Planes would not be suddenly sucked down or pulled down if they flew over the Kaaba. There are many claims that people actually believe in, mostly pop Muslims from Pakistan, that the Kaaba was the center of the earth and that it was a strong magnetic field which prevented planes from flying over it. People actually believe such nonsense, I'm not kidding. There are YouTube videos with millions of views and thousands of likes by gullible people who believe in such nonsense. Quora is full of such explanations by Muslims that are upvoted by large numbers of other Muslims. There are websites explaining such pseudoscience. Allah really chose a fantastic place for the center to torture his beloved Muslim believers in a cruel climate that is not suitable for proper human life. No wonder hugging and kissing or just touching your loved one is illegal and could land you in jail. Yes, really. That's how sad this place is. But public executions are not a problem at all. Thanks Allah for the wonderful center of the earth. Back to planes. Planes really don't fly over the Kaaba, but the reason for that is that there is no airport in Mecca. Because the mountainous nature of Mecca is not suitable for airports, and the government of Saudi Arabia doesn't want Mecca to be used as a fly zone. Probably because it would disturb the holiness of the city. And it would put people above the Kaaba, which is so disrespectful. On the other hand, people often see emergency helicopters fly over this region, for example, and nothing happens. They don't suddenly explode over the Kaaba or crash into air, whatever. We, we went over that. It is stupid. There really is no scientifically weird reason why planes don't fly over the Kaaba. That brings us to birds. Remember, many Muslims also claim that birds cannot or will not or would not fly over the Kaaba. That is again mostly believed by people outside of this region. Maybe people who don't really understand the Islamic holy sites and who haven't ever been there, but who believe Islam is the best because their mother told them so. And now they believe that since Muslims circle the Kaaba, the entire world turns around the Kaaba and the entire galaxy, planets, the universe revolves around the Kaaba and birds don't fly over it for some weird reason. Look, I might sound a little bit condescending here, but how could I not? Seriously. <laughs> now, whether birds do or don't fly over the Kaaba, I couldn't really make this test myself. I can't go to the Kaaba and make birds fly over the Kaaba and then record it for this video because, first off, I'm a kafir, an infidel, a dirty non-Muslim, a filthy apostate. That means I'm not allowed to enter the holy city of Mecca, the center of the peaceful and tolerant religion of Islam. Secondly, it would be a financially very stupid move to book an expensive flight ticket to some weird cube in the middle of the desert. No offense to all those who have to do that for their religion so that Allah accepts them. Seriously, find a better God. Look for a better lover. Look for something better to do. Go to Brazil, for example. It has a lot of nice beaches. Saudi Arabia surely also has a lot of nice beaches, but you know what I mean. Anyways, enough about beaches. During my very serious studies on whether birds fly over the Kaaba or not, I came across a comment on Quora that was so beautiful, I just have to take it and include it into this video. I acknowledge that the author of this comment may not agree with me or the content of this channel at all. 
The comment was just beautiful. In 2005, I traveled for Hajj. Whilst there, I noticed these peculiar birds whizzing about the open space of the mosque, where the Kaaba is. Then when I got home, I began to tell my friends about these funny little birds that zip around and change direction so easily. To which my friends replied, Brother, they are insert name I can't remember here. They never fly over the Kaaba. So I pondered and picked at my memory, and they were right. These amazing birds zipped around like that because they never pass over the Kaaba. I then proceeded to tell everyone I know about these birds and their amazing navigation abilities for the next eight years. Then comes 2013, and I move to Saudi Arabia. Living in Jeddah, I visit Mecca once a week. But on my first visit back to the Kaaba, I sat on the second floor of the mosque and was delighted to see those birds yet again. Whizzing around they were, changing direction just as I remember it, and flying straight over the Kaaba. It seems... Being told by my friend that they don't pass over it somehow rearranged my memory of the little creatures. <laughs> this comment beautifully reveals that people make themselves believe absurd things. In this case, that these mysterious birds somehow don't or can't fly over the Kaaba because they are magically not able to, or because they don't want to disrespect Allah's abode. How could they? The Quran says that all the animals worship him all the time and that Allah holds the birds up and makes them fly, of course, and orders the birds to praise him. And by Arab Muslim culture, being physically above something and having something under your feet means disrespecting that certain thing. And the birds here are obviously Arab birds. That's not all that the birds do. And here we come to bird poop, finally. Birds do not only fly over the Kaaba, they also poop on the Kaaba. Which is why there are people whose job it is to regularly climb on Allah's house and clean it. Because birds love pooping on Allah's house. They love visiting this crowded place, sitting on a perfect spot that is high but not too high, and pooping. In fact, here we have an iconic picture that I captioned several years ago of a pigeon that is on the Kaaba and that has probably just had a bowel movement, if we may call it so. I wonder if the pilgrims who see this bird think, I hope the bird poops on me instead of the holy Kaaba. Oh Allah, make it poop on my face, not on your beloved house. Put yourself in this pigeon's position. You probably think, this is a good spot. Let me stand here and poop on this weird coop. I don't even mind the weird shapes on it. Look at all these people. What are they doing? Anyways, it's a good crowd. This is a good place to poop. They might drop some food and I can maybe fly down and eat that. That's why I'm here, right? Thanks to whoever built this interesting cube, whatever it may represent. But wait, you don't actually think any of that because you're a stupid bird. And all you do is fly around, eat some food, and take a dump on a spot that happens to be a high spot in between a crowd. And that spot happens to be the cube that this crowd prays toward. A bird doesn't care. A bird doesn't worship Allah, as the Quran claims. Which is why a bird has no problem pooping on Allah. A bird is not controlled by Allah. A bird does not respect Allah's house. A bird is just a bird that poops on your Kaaba. Here's something hilarious though. Some people or someone found this picture so offensive and so damaging that they photoshopped it and removed the bird poop from the picture. And now they go around claiming that this was the original and that the original photo was photoshopped. That is how sensitive Muslims are about the Kaaba. It is very clear that those who believe birds and planes don't or can't fly over the Kaaba are fooling themselves. And this video may not mean that birds disrespect Allah and that Allah therefore does exist. It merely serves to clear these weird beliefs believed by so many people. And it serves a point. Muslims will spend so much time claiming that having pictures, for example, is very damaging because it pushes people toward idolatry. Yet they will never acknowledge that the veneration of the Kaaba, for example, is a very pathetic thing because it makes people believe such things. That birds don't fly over the Kaaba and can't fly over the Kaaba because it is such a holy place. Muslims will spend so much time attacking critics of Islam like me, but they will not go out there and actually start a fight to clear these stupid misconceptions that other Muslims believe in. That make us all laugh one more time about Islam as if there wasn't enough material. But since we're talking about all of this, and since it is so much fun, I would like to hear an answer from Muslims. Why do birds so disrespectfully defecate on Allah's building and on his name? Allah's favorite building, made by his orders for him. 
the center of attention, the physical target of worship. Especially since birds are so innocent and controlled by Allah and in constant praise and worship to Allah. Why do birds poop on the Kaaba? Thanks for watching. If you like this video remotely as much as I like making it, please don't forget to like, to subscribe and to share. Have a fantastic day and stay away from bird poop. Stay away from Islam.